let's take a look at this washer's method problem. So this is a type one. Uh, type one is horizontal revolution axis. So when the revolution axis is horizontal, the integral is a dx integral. So we have a couple curves. The first one is y equals to x to the third. We have y equals to zero and x greater than or equal to zero. So that means you will push everything to quadrant one and quadrant two since y equals to x to the third and the straight line uh, uh, constitute a bounded region in quadrant one so that means we will be focusing on quadrant one so we have a straight line the straight line is in blue that is y equals to x and then the curve is y equals to x to the third and then the revolution axis is the x-axis so do you see that there is a spinning symbol x-axis is horizontal so the entire integral is an dx integral Okay, so first of all, let's find out that the lower limit and the upper limit. So the lower limit, if you just look at the graph, it looks like the lower limit goes from x equals to zero from this point, x equals to zero to x equals to this point. So we don't know what that is. Uh, if, if, you can, if you look closer, you can see that point is one, but let's prove it. So first, we know that they are inter they intersect each other at zero and one. Let's find out. So we have uh oh look this problem here here is y equals to x. Huh. So we have x to the third equals to x, and then we move the x to the other side equals to zero. Factor out one x. We have x squared minus one equals to zero. So we have x equals to or not x equals to. We have x times x plus one x minus 1 equals to 0. So we have x equals to 0, x equals to 1, and x equals to negative 1. So the other intersection point is x equals to 1. But what about the negative 1? Do you see that there is an intersection in uh, quadrant 3? So that is negative 1, but since x must be greater than x must be greater than or equal to 0, so this one we can just omit that. So that means when you set up the dx integral, the integral goes from x equals to 0 to x equals to 1. Don't write 0 and 1, right? x equals to 0, x equals to 1. And then we are going to spin this area about the x-axis. Now, let me answer a question. How do you know that this is a washer's method? How come this is not a this method? Let me explain that right here. Look, when you spin, right? When you spin this area 360 degree about the x-axis, you have to picture this in your mind. So when you spin the area, do you spin this space? Look at the green space. Do you spin that space? The answer is no. So after you finish the spinning, do we agree that there are some space right here? So you have a three-dimensional object, but inside the object, there are some green space. Do we agree with that? The answer is yes. If that is the case, then this is a washer's method. Okay, if that is the case, then this is a washer's method. What about the disk method? The disk method is there is no space. All right, so that's the difference between washers and this. So let's get rid of this uh, green stuff. And then where is my top curve? Where is my bottom curve? So for the, this area, area between curves, we have to identify the top curve and the bottom curve. Let's do that in red. So we are going to build a rectangle or just use a line. When I was a student, I just drew a line. So which is the top curve? Which is the bottom curve? The top curve is the straight line. The bottom curve is the x to the third power, right? But look. Here is the difference between disk and washer. Now, look at the green arrow, the x-axis. That is the axis where we have to do the spinning, right? Look, there is a distance. Look at this point, the, the two points, the two red points. Do we agree that there is a distance between the point on the, on the straight line and the x-axis? Yes. Do we agree that there is a distance between the red point on the purple curve and the x-axis. Yes, right? Maybe I, I should use an, an, another color. So let's pick another color. Let's pick orange. Let's pick orange here. Do we agree that there is a distance between the red point and the x-axis? 
Yes. Do we agree that there is a distance between the orange point and the x-axis? Right? There are some space. So in this case, you have instead of using top curve and bottom curve, you have to use the word inner in the inner radius and outer radius. So what is the inner radius? The inner radius. Let's write, write down the word inner radius. What is inner radius? Inner radius is, answer my question, which point is closer to the revolution axis? Again, which point, right? Write this down. Which point is closer to the revolution axis. I, I should write it down for you. So which point is closer to the revolution axis? The answer is the orange point, right? But I am not talking about one orange point. I am talking about any orange point on the curve. So that will be the any orange point, then that will be x to the third, right? And then what is the distance between the purple curve and the x-axis? Then that will be x to the third minus zero. So that is still unclear, right? But how about this? y equals to x to the third minus y equals to zero. Is that clear now? Yes. Look. How about the outer radius? So the outer radius, let's do that in another color. So the outer radius. The outer radius. So do we agree that the red point is farther away from the x-axis compared to the orange point? Yes, right? So that means any red point, any point on the straight line is outer radius. So you are going to use the entire straight line which is uh, y equals to x, and then you have to minus y equals to zero. What, what is y equals to zero, by the way? That is the x-axis. So, and then you have to do x minus zero. Clear. Okay, now let's do the integral. So the integral is volume that is equals to integral where x goes from 0 to 1. I'm going to do, do this nice and slow. So we will be using pi times outer radius square. So pi times outer square, outer radius square minus inner radius square. And then dx, y out outer square minus inner square. Here is y. So we have an outer circle like this. And then let me switch to another color. And then we have an in, in, inner circle. Okay, I should make a, make a perfect circle for you. So we have an inner circle. Now, from here to here, this is small r. And then from the center to the outer radius, this is big R. What is the area of this purple region? That is the area of the bigger square minus the area of the smaller square, pi R square. So the area of the purple square minus the radius of the Y square, right? And then when you factor out the pi, then you have pi outer square minus inner square. And that's how we get the idea. And then why do we do the integral? The integral do the spinning for you. Pi r square. You want to make it three dimensional, then you have to spin. Okay, then this is from zero to one, and then you have pi outer. Outer is in red, that will be x minus zero. Do not forget the do do not skip the zero. Keep the zero in there. Square minus x to the third minus zero square. I will just do setup, but do not evaluate. Don't simplify the integrand. I prefer to leave the answer like this. Because let's say three days from now, I come back to my notes, I know exactly what I did. That's the reason. All right, so that is the end of this problem, but I want to give you a couple more if. So to do the what if, allow me to borrow the graph one more time. So I have the graph right here. Okay, allow me to uh, take the graph with me. 
So I am going to do a I'm going to do copy and let's paste the graph over here. Okay, so let's paste the graph over here. So in the previous case, I rotate about the x axis, right? Now, I want to do two what if. The first what if, let me just use an, another color to, to do this. The first what if is what if I want to rotate here. I want to rotate about, uh, okay, I want to make the graph more reasonable. How about this? I want to rotate about, um, let's say, y equals to 9. And then after that, I want to do one more. Uh, let's say uh, down below. Let's choose another color to give you a better comparison. How about um, this one here? And then I want to rotate about, uh, let's say y equals to negative 7. How does that change the, the integral? That will change the inner radius and the outer radius. Okay, let's do the y equals to 9. So if that is y equals to 9, uh, they are still from x equals to 0 to x equals to 1. That doesn't change the lower limit and the upper limit. But what is the inner radius? What is the outer radius? So the inner radius, which point is closer to the y equals to 9? The answer is the red point. So any red point, the any, then that will be the entire straight line, y equals to x. Now, what is the distance between the revolution axis and the red point? Then that will be, you take the line, the revolution axis, subtract the function, which is y equals to 9 minus y equals to x that is in the radius because the red point is closer to the revolution axis what about outer radius the outer radius is the orange point that is farther away from the y equals to 9 then we will be using 9 minus any point on the third power then that will be x to the third this is y equals to 9 minus y equals to x to the third then the volume becomes from one from zero to one we have pi and then we do outer square minus inner square so the outer square will be nine minus x to the third outer square minus inner square nine minus x so that's how you change the integral okay what about y equals to negative seven so if you have y equals to negative seven then uh this is still from x equals to 0 to x equals to 1. That doesn't change the upper and the lower limit. But tell me, which point is closer to the y equals to negative 7? Then that will be the inner radius. The answer is the orange point is closer to the um, y equals to negative 7. Then what is the distance between them in general? any orange point then that will be the entire curve then we will be using x to the third look subtract negative seven top minus the bottom so that will be x to the third that means any orange point on the curve subtract y equals to negative seven why do you have to subtract how come you don't add because the orange point has a bigger y value the y equals to negative 7 has a smaller y value. The distance between them is big minus small, top minus the bottom. So that is the inner radius. y equals to x to the third minus y equals to negative 7. What about the outer ra radius? Let's, I should not switch color. Outer radius. The outer radius is the red point that is farther away from the revolution axis so that any point then that will be x minus negative 7 in detail that will be y equals to x minus y equals to negative 7 and then the volume is from 0 to 1 you have pi outer square minus inner square dx so that will be outer square minus inner square and then you fill out the parentheses so outer square x minus negative 7 inner square 
x to the third minus negative seven. When I do set up, but do not evaluate, I prefer to leave the answer like this. Do not simplify. Everyone knows how to simplify. Simplifying the integrand is not part of this. This is not the point in this lesson. So that is the answer that I want you to do. But if you are doing homework online, of course, you have to simplify. And of course, you have to integrate. All right. So that is the end of this video. I hope that helps. If you think my instruction is helpful and clear, let me know in the comment below. Like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Share the video for me. Appreciate your help as always. See you in the next video. Signing off for now.